that. Let's get you a check of your four zone forecast because we're hoping for clear skies next weekend. This is a live look at downtown San Francisco. Not too much going on in the skies there tonight. Crown Forest Gail Ong has more on what's ahead. Hey, Gail. Hello, Noel. Good evening, everyone. And yeah, we have a drying trend on the way starting tomorrow, Monday. And uh, we are seeing overall some clear skies tonight and maybe some lingering clouds over by the Golden Gate Bridge and by the coast. But we're in the clear. You can see that view over at Storm Tracker 4 here. I want to zoom in closer because mainly the activity is happening in the Sierra and the Central Valley. You can see some light showers in Merced over there and some snow over in Mammoth Lakes. That's just south of Yosemite State Park. So they've got some possibly some measurable snow there so we'll have to see how much tomorrow when those totals come in and take a look we have a change in the weather pattern so that low pressure system you see on this map currently over Nevada is ex is expecting to shift east and that's going to be warming us up when high pressure takes over so inland valleys you can expect to be in the lower 90s that's going to bring us clear skies also some fire danger we'll get to later on in the broadcast but waking up tomorrow we got some partly cloudy skies in the 50s sunshine by noon and late afternoon will be warming up to the upper 70s. Back to you. Gail, thank you. The Cron Four's Gail Ong here with a look at what sort of weather we can expect this week. Hey, Gail. Hello, Noel. Hello, everyone. We have some lingering cloud cover over by the Golden Gate Bridge, but most of the Bay Area, we are in the clear. And I also have another view from the East Bay Hill, so partly cloudy skies. And here's the view from Storm Tracker 4. So overall, quiet night. Most of that activity from that cold front that passed through our area is now moving east. So you could see some light showers in Merced and some snow activity in the Sierra just south of Yosemite National Park. So possibly some measurable snow there. Now we have a change in the weather pattern. This trough will be moving east and then this ridge of high pressure you see here this will be dominating this week and that's going to be heating us up so expect places like the inland valleys to reach low 90s so not a heat wave but you can see gradual warm up here and then Thursday looks like to be the peak of the heat and with this change in the weather pattern we can expect some fire danger and here is what it looks like over the next few days you could see some cloudy skies over by the coast which is the typical morning clouds and then things clear out in the afternoon but take a look on Monday, Tuesday, and through Wednesday, sunny skies. Now, Wednesday, we're expecting some offshore winds to pop up, but we're not seeing aggressive winds with the fire danger. But with those low 90s and that heat and lower relative humidity, we could see some sparks. But firefighters have been putting those out very, very quickly. Overnight lows, 47 for you in Santa Rosa to start your Monday. Everyone else, we're in the 50s. Daytime highs, so we'll stay close to normal in the low 80s over in places like Livermore and Con a 70s by East Bay shoreline, 60s over by the coast. Here's a look at your 10 at 10. So take a look. We're pretty much warming up for the week, and then you'll notice we'll, it'll be breezy Wednesday, and then we start to gradually warm up towards the end of the week. I know it's Fleet Week, that air show yeah. next uh, weekend. So it looks like we have some sunny skies, and even just looking at the bay and coast, yeah. 70s and 80s, it's that part of the season where it's our late summer coming up. Yeah, I know that last year a lot of people were pretty disappointed with with all the fog and cloud cover that we had last year. So I'm really hoping that Carl kind of takes a break <laughs> and we can enjoy those warm temperatures because that looks really nice for the whole weekend. Yeah, it does. So we'll, we'll, let's hope this forecast holds true. Thanks, Gail. You're welcome. This is a live look at downtown San Francisco. Gail, what's it looking like for next week? Hello, Noel. Hello, everyone. Well, it doesn't look like we'll see the fog angels this year. You know, models are showing sunny skies. Let's hope that stays that way. But right now, we're mostly clear around the Bay Area. Maybe some lingering clouds over by the coast and the Golden Gate Bridge. I want to zoom on in because most of the activity left over from that cold front that passed through is over in the Central Valley. Some light showers in Merced and some Sierra snow. Moving on now, this low pressure system that cooled us down and brought us some rain is now moving east. High pressure will be taking over and will be bringing us clear skies. Also warm temperatures, expecting low 90s in our inland valley. So not a heat wave, but definitely some increase of fire risk. Here's your Monday wake up planner, 6 a.m. Partly cloudy skies in the 50s around the coast bay and inland. By noon, we'll mostly see sunny skies and even into the late in afternoon. So on the sun and warm day with we're going to be mild in the 60s and upper 70s i'll have my extended forecast in a bit gail thank you all right now to our four zone forecast taking a live look 
I believe this is from our Sutro Tower cam, and that is Golden Gate Bridge. Carl the Fog has moved on in this evening. You can just see the top of the bridge towers there. Uh, we've got Gail Ong here to talk a little bit more. I'm a little nervous Carl's gonna come in over Fleet Week, Gail. <laughs> well, models are showing sunny skies and uh, over at the Golden Gate Bridge, those are just some lingering clouds. We did have that cold front that moved over our area and that brought us some light rain, cloudy skies, cooler temperatures well below the average. Well, things are about to change, but we are mostly clear across the Bay Area. You can see partly cloudy skies from this view from around Mount Tan Kim. You can actually see the city. Usually Usually this is shrouded with fog. Storm Tracker 4, you see the view, quiet here in the Bay Area. Just some activity over here in the Central Coast, some light showers in Merced and some light snow over in the Sierra. They've been busy with some snow, so possibly some measurable snow there from the weekend. Now we have a change in the weather pattern. This low pressure system that's been cooling us down is moving east, and now we have high pressure that will be taking over this week, so expect some warmer temperatures and definitely dry temperatures. That's going to be taking over. So our inland valleys, we're going to see a gradual warming trend starting Monday into Tuesday. And then it looks like that heat starts to peak Thursday into Friday. And with this change in the weather pattern, we can expect an increased risk of fire danger as we are heading into the month of October, which is typically the peak fire season. So we may see some sparks, but thankfully firefighters have been putting them out really quickly this season. Uh, future cast for, let's see what your uh, next couple of days look like. Expect the morning clouds to roll in along the beaches and then things clear out in the afternoon. So that's going to be the typical pattern for mainly the rest of the week and including the weekend because I know last year it was really uh, foggy. The fog took over and the show did get canceled last week, last year rather, in Fleet Week. But let's get to your Monday morning because you'll be in the upper 40s Santa Rosa and then everyone else is in the 50s daytime highs. So we'll still be near normal averages and low 80s inland, a 60s by the coast the 70s by the bay your extended forecast so definitely going to feel like summer a uh, wednesday you may notice that offshore breeze but not an aggressive one that can cause like serious fire yeah. danger but look at this it's going to feel like <laughs> summer next weekend and this may be the we last like summer. that yeah. we like that a little bit in october but exactly i think a lot of folks are ready for sweater weather to to come back so, yes uh, so um this may be short-lived usually we see as yeah. you know living in the bay area we see this heat spike in yeah. the fall and then it starts to cool down until about March or springtime. At least it's coming at the right time. Next weekend is exactly. the perfect time to have yes, warm that weather. Yes, air show. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be keeping an eye on that. Thanks, Gail. You're welcome. Coming